Good morning. How's everybody doing? Today we're going to be looking at the new sneak peek and we're also going to be pulling my soul stones. All right, so update 8.60. Hey everyone, update 8.60 is almost here. So it's time for our regular sneak peek at what we've been working on. Let's dive in. First up, we're introducing a fifth divinity, Harmony. Yeah. Like the other divinities, there'll be six new blocks. Uh, what do you guys think about the new divinity? The, the harmony uh blessings i felt like it was kind of just okay there was the i like the healing blessings so like the the two rare ones and this crackling cracking roots stood out to me a lot as well uh, kind of nerfing ish sort of the stone skin so there's that blessings focused on healing and strengthening your team using the power of nature Far out, of man. nature. One of the new rare Far blessings out, is called Nourish, and it'll Nish. improve the strength of continuous heal buffs placed by the wearer and restore any destroyed max HP for good measure. Pretty sweet, right? Well, Harmony isn't all about peace and love. One of the epic blessings called Neutralize will grant a chance to land debuffs through poison cloud buffs. And the legendary blessing, Cracking Roots, will increase yeah. a champion's damage against targets with stone skin. Don't assume that with a name like Harmony, these new blessings are just for support champions. Some will have your attackers hitting harder too. Harmonious boons for everyone. Boons. Keep your eyes peeled for more details. We'll be posting a full infographic with all six blessings in our update highlights on our official forum and social media. Update 8.60 also answers a long-standing community request, okay, yeah, the ability to make gear presets. When you use the fitting room, you'll now be able to save your favorite combinations of artifacts and accessories for okay, quick and easy about, use. That's... Now we know the changing- All right, so we know about that already. We know, we know, we, we've talked about this. Everybody, all the content creators have already gone over this. Uh, I should have skipped this part, the gear sets, free gear, removal booster. We already know about that and dungeon rebalance this is what i wanted to know about this right here is what i wanted to know about the dungeon rebalance the next major part of this update will bring something we've been promising for a while it's time for balance changes to raid's toughest dungeons yeah please the iron twins fortress iron. the sand devil's necropolis and the phantom shogun's grow shogun we've turned down the dials on the iron twins nice. nerfing this killing machine's total hp defense, resistance, and most importantly, accuracy. Okay. It'll be a lot easier to resist those nasty Iron Brand debuffs. And, and that that's pretty good. I mean, it's not going to change anything for, for those of us who have the unkillable teams. Or if you have like a really tanky team. So like I also run a team where it's just like super tanky, hard to kill. Uh, like Wither the Crown, I think Oella's in there, Pytheon. And so I basically use HP burns and poisons to dwindle away at the boss. And so that is more of an end game thing, I got to say. So this is a good thing. By lowering the uh, points of entry, a lot of the other players who haven't been able to get to these bosses are now going to be able to get to these bosses. And I think part of the reason as to why they're doing this is because they're they're probably preparing us for the new area that's about to that's about to show up so um let me let me show you so like right here there's there's this area here right and so in my experience what a lot of game companies will do case in point if you've played monster hunter um you played played monster hunter not rise but um basically there was the base game in monster hunter the most recent one that came out and then oh monster hunter world it was monster hunter world the base game and then they came out with uh the dlc iceborne and they wanted a lot of people to go play iceborne and they wanted new players to come get through the base game and enjoy iceborne so what do they do they gave everybody this gear set that basically <laughs> makes you not impervious but like really hard to kill if you were wearing that set of armor up until the point that you get to Iceborne where there where there's a, a huge change and things are now a little bit harder because you're losing a lot more health. And I think, <clears throat> sorry, I think this might be the same case here where Raid is starting to lower all of these dungeons to balance them because of this area here that might be coming out. And this is all speculation. 
that are coming out here, they want people to be able to play this, so they're going to lower it. That and for Centranos, probably. They want more players to play Centranos and enjoy this game mode, so that they want us to go ahead and get those blessings, get a taste of the blessings and Ascension dungeons as well. That's what I think. I hope I articulated that well enough. Land your own. Speaking of Iron Brand, we're reducing the amount of stacks applied by the fires of insanity and ruinous swath skills. We're also reducing how often the Iron Twins activate the retaliatory launch skill. Instead of four times, it'll only happen when the Iron Twins HP drops below 80%, 60%, and 40% of their max HP. Zzzt. Offensive capabilities reduced. Zzzt. Time for Alnime to face the nerf bat. Get it, bat? <laughs> Anyway, he's also getting a significant decrease to all of his stats except attack and speed. And we're increasing his slumber counter as well. Sand Devils still need the beauties. That, that is, um, that's good. And the reason I'm pointing this out is because a lot of our teams are already speed tuned. So if they were to mess up the speed, they would have definitely messed up the speed tune and it would have been a hassle and a half for us to change things around so I'm, I'm glad they didn't change the speed at lower stages the slumber counter will increase to 16 and at higher stages it's now eight so you've got plenty of hits to get your debuffs in that's not all though Alname will now only destroy five percent of your champions max wait HP. how did he say it may will now only destroy hits to get your debuffs in that's not all though Alname will now only that's how you say it Alname. I had no idea how to say uh, Sand Devil's name. I've been saying Sand Devil, Devil, but uh, I guess it's Al Name. Only destroy 5% of your champion's max HP instead of 10%. And we're reducing Rest for the Wicked's damage reduction by 15% for each debuff instead of 10%. Essentially, you'll survive longer and hit harder. Win, win. Then there's Akumori the Phantom Shogun. This poor Spectral Warlord is getting his stats nerfed the hardest. Ouch. Ooh. His Purge the Shadow skill has been changed, so now you can remove up to 10 stacks of Which is interesting because I always I always felt like Sand Devil was harder than Phantom Shogun. I don't know why. I, I, I don't know. Shade counter for every three hits, depending on a champion's awakening level. It, it might be because there were more options, more free-to-play options that were more so accessible in Phantom Shogun versus the Sand Devil. Like, I, I feel like with Sand Devil, if you wanted to at least cheese it, which was like the easiest way to do, I think, and I don't know everything, so feel free to correct me as always, but it's like you needed Godseeker Neri, basically. She ran Sand Devil, and if you didn't have Godseeker Neri with a very specific book set, uh, like a specific amount of books for a specific level, like her A2 or her A3, I think it was uh, her A3, I think, um, or if you didn't have like a five or six star blessing for her in Miracle Heal or yeah, Miracle Heal, then, um, y you know, you weren't going to be able to, to do it so easily. Akumori Shroud of the Shogun passive is also changing. So it now grants him less shade stacks for every weak hit champions land on him. To make matters worse for Akumori, the number of shade stacks that he needs for each immunity or buff has been increased by 10. Exercise your power and send this ghost on to the afterlife. There is one small catch with these rebalances. These new stats will only affect them in their dungeons. The Iron Twins and Al Nemea will still be as powerful as they were before when you're facing them in the Cursed City. Well, almost as powerful. The skill changes will apply. Keep an eye out for the full update highlights. We'll feature a detailed infographic on these changes. It'll feature all the exact nuts and bolts changes on stats and skills, so you theory crafters can start scheming. That's almost everything. Okay, yeah. I get, you know, give a dog a bone, I guess. Yeah, I, I guess. Because they said we're not going to change them for the Cursed City, for Centranos. We'll change them for the dungeons. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm all right with it thing but we've got just enough time to show off some of the gorgeous new champions we've got in the pipeline there's a terrible and mighty faction unity champion for the ogren tribes cool. and a sneaky new mythical champ is that samson champion for the ogren tribes is that samson 
That's got to be Samson. It looks like Samson. Does it? Or is it just me? No, that, that's Samson. That's Samson with blue skin. They even got the tusk right here and, and everything. They're standing the same. That's Samson. So I, I always notice. I always I always like to to take note of these things because sometimes I just. But I I know there's a lot of the reskin champions. I get it. I get it. I understand why. Just... Grin tribes and a sneaky new mythical champion for the Sylvan Watchers oh, with a oh, few that's feathers cool. in his cap. Oh. Hold up. That's cool. Look at that. He's he's a, a bird man. He's a bird man. A, an electrical bird man. All right. A few feathers in his cap. That's cool. And hey, does that look like the Arbiter? No, Whew. it looks like... That's a... If you if you saw the the like my my last or or second to last video, I already or my my before you fuse, that doesn't look like Arbiter. It looks like Elsinia. Hefty update. That's epic. We hope you're excited about the changes coming in update eight point six zero. In the meantime, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to be the. Fr no. Cool. That is a welcome update. But now, it's time. To uh, what was I doing? Oh, that's right. It's time to pull. We're gonna be pull a six star blessing for Grand Oak. All right. So we have. Let me take a screenshot of this just because I have to make a thumbnail. There we go. So I'm gonna pull my stones on this account. Then I'm gonna hop onto my alt account. Pull on there. And yeah. That's about it. So let's go ahead and jump over to we'll be in International Zero this time. All right. My wish list, obviously Rodos, Taurus, Duchess. Do I have anybody else that I would uh, benefit heavily from? No, I mean, I've always wanted a six star blessing for Rodos. Yeah, no, I think I think we're good. All right, so. The Awakening Boost. We have a 2x chance to get a 5 or 6 star blessing, and it's only for the Mortal and Immortal Stones, but it's not going to be for the Eternal Stone. However, I'm still going to go ahead and pull it at the very end. All right, so... Oh, and then any, any uh, extra coins we get, we'll convert it if we have enough to get more. And yeah, so wish me luck. Let's see what we get. Give me something good. Gnarl Horn, we don't need you. And Dahlia. Marked Grush. They give me a lot of blessings for champions that I don't use anymore. I feel like I slept on Kinigashi. I feel like Kinigashi didn't get any love for me. But he was never there when I needed him. Bystophis. Alright. Bellinor. Bellinor is... If I wanted to switch up my clan boss team and make... That's a cool blessing, except I already have a five-star blessing for Seer. Bellinor would have been cool um, to keep if I was going to rebuild my clan boss team. Because right now... Genzin. I don't mind Genzin. Uh-huh, Galathir, it's a one-star blessing. Because uh, if I were to use Bellinor in clan boss, it would be affinity friendly. And that's got to be a lot of value. Because sometimes, sometimes at UNM, I get... And Snick Track. I would love to have a Snick Track. Sometimes... Oh. A Sill. <laughs> Sill. I just did a video on Sill. Yeah, sometimes I get... Like, I, get, I weak hit against the wrong affinity clan boss, and then I have to use another key. So, Bellinor. So, I've been trying to talk about it for, like, the last three pulls. 
But I get so I'm so easily distracted, bro. Brachus. And if you're watching this and you're new, you don't know, I'll let you know. Blessings are huge for for your champions. It's like uh, this uh, the level of empowerment that you get from having a highly blessed champion is phenomenal. So anytime you get a really good blessing, even if it's for a champion you don't think you're like a legendary champion, you don't think you'll get. I'd probably keep it depending on the legendary champion. But then the other argument to that is you might get better um, value out of it, selling it, and then oh nice Chronum. I think I already have a blessing for him though. I'm not sure. And Nishak. And then refunding it, taking the coins to oh what are what are those points? Wait, what are those points? Well, let me finish my thought. Refunding those points to get more stones to pull. Hold on, what was that? We're getting points for something? Get, get the red dots here. Let me get the red dots. Anniversary path. Oh, summon from Soul Stones. 15th anniversary. I feel like they always have an anniversary. What's a... Uh... Sacred? What is this? Oh, the Jade Serpent Arbiter skin. Well... You already know that I'm all about it. It's, you know, it's one of those things. I'm a collector when it comes to skins, except I don't want to pay 15 bucks for certain skins. But yeah, anytime there's an avatar or a skin available for us, I go out of my way for it. So let's, let's do this. Let's, let, I'm, I'm all in now. Let's go. Let's collect these. And let me actually make some room because I think we're approaching, approaching a uh, capacity here. I might keep Renegade. Think about that for a minute. Yeah, all of these right here, I'm not gonna need. I'm gonna sell the low level blessings just because I know for the Marius missions, there there's going to be some mission that's telling that's gonna tell me to sell a bunch of stole, uh, souls. I said stoles. So I'm going to keep those, but I'll uh, get rid of some of these really low star blessing ones just to make room. All right. Convert some of that as well. Oops. All right. Let's continue. Come on. A five star. Where's, where's my two X? Where's my two X for the five star blessing? Oh, oh, gnarl horn. Five star blessing for gnarl horn. I use Gnarl Horn in the Phantom Shogun. Let me let me check that out real quick. Gnarl Horn. Oh, nice! Look at that. Five star blessing, Gnarl Horn. That's huge. I think. For some 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 part of me is telling me it's huge. That's what she said. I forget why. I think it has to do something with the the counter, the shadow, the shade counter. But the blessing that I actually have for him, I don't think the blessings are actually going to help him himself. Lissandra, a lot of one star blessings here for legendary champions. I really want a five star. Siffy! <laughs> oh my God, Siffy. It's been, it's been 84 years. Emic, we'll take that. I don't know if I have a blessing for Emic. Need a high level brimstone blessing for him. Cold heart, nice to see you again. Aothar, back in the day. Taurus, but I already. Nut. But I, I think I already have blessings for these guys. Oh, I didn't have a blessing for Emic. That's that's good. Put that brimstone on him. Oh, I guess I didn't have a blessing for Syl. That's also nice. We'll take that. And I didn't have a blessing for Lissandra. Definitely taking that. Yeah, let's continue. Yeah, uh, a, bless a higher blessing for Taurus would be nice. And Rhodos. <sighs> I hit Taurus twice, guys. And they were both one stars. 
Godseeker and Eerie, I think I need a higher level blessing than just the three star though. Jamars is pretty cool. What's my blessing for Aniri? It's at two, so we'll definitely take. Oh, we take it. We're taking that four star. Well, I gotta check to see which one is the one that I, I use in uh, Sand Devil. Come on. <laughs> Il Signe. A Soulbound Boyer is actually a pretty legit champion, so definitely build her out, especially for the uh, for the secret rooms. If you're struggling in the secret rooms, you definitely want her. Eryx, I don't mind Eryx. Some 2x, huh? How much did we pull? We pulled over 100. And not a single 5-star legendary blessing. And doesn't the wish list supposedly increase the chance as well? Like the chance of you getting a champion you want. So it should it should go into effect, but it's not happening. Why is it not happening? Let's go ahead and do our single pulls. Nope. It's a lot of blue. Come on. Dude, big fucking rip, bro. A six-star blessing for Baroth. I finally got my six-star blessing. For an epic, 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 epic chicken. For an epic chicken. And, of course, boom. Yep, that sounds about par for the course. Let's get, uh, do I need space? Yeah, I need a little bit of space, actually. Sell these real quick. How many soul stones do I have to pull to get something that I actually want? Because that's insane. Alright, let's get one of these. 25. Let's see it. Come on. All right, we got a mythical. I don't have a mythical. Lazarius, I don't mind. Okay, so we're seeing a lot of higher blessings naturally here. It's got to come here. Gurgo, I already got a three star for you. All these mythical blessings that they're handing out, but no mythical champions. Oh, a six star Burin Giri. I like that. A six star, a Blade Master, a Demitha. I don't use Demitha, but oh, five. Star. Wait, I already said I have a six star Makage, but dude, the six star Alatrion Blade Master. That's that's huge because I actually have Alatrion Blade Master, who's not blessed, but now we're gonna get him blessed up. But I'm gonna hold off. I need to see if there's a mission that takes that that needs us to to six star. Um, Six star bless a champion, so we'll see. We're gonna hold off on that for now. Here we go. Give me that cock. Ooh, a five star Lazarius. If only I could get a mythical champion. Okay, we don't need you. It's crazy the difference between Pythion. It's crazy the, the difference between. The smaller the mortal soul stones versus the immortal and then i i'm willing to bet that the eternals are even i mean they just have they have to be but like that's a stark contrast we did two 10 pops and most of them were like four and above whereas the smaller ones were mostly just ones come on give me something i actually need though give me something i actually have what was that Maybe we can sell a few more just to get um, just to get a little bit closer to 800. I'm selling ones for champions that I just know I'm not going to ever use. Like I'm not, I'm never going to use Cage Bound. Oh, but I actually should hold off on selling the, the the higher blessed ones just because of that mission that I talked about. 
So, it's that. Maybe could be a few more here for uh, just to get that last eternal. Is that a? Can we do that? We can. Got to sell some four stars here, though. Uh. This one? Yeah, this one right here. So this one. We'll be fine. I'll, I'll pull more if I need to later. All right, there we go. We have a little bit extra here. Oops. All right, let's go ahead and pull the last few on this account, and then we're going to jump over to my other account. And purple. Perfect. Catacomb Counselor. I used to use you, but not anymore. All right, the big two eternal soul stones. Come on, epic. For a champion I don't even use. And epic. For God Seeker. Oh, that's our five star. That's our five star. That is what we need to. I mean, I'm already doing Sand Devil, but uh, I guess I'm trying to find positivity here. But we finally got our five star blessed God Seeker. I'll look at um, the difference between which, which um, God Seekers are, are which. Here we go, Brutus Slayer, just putting in work here. Let's see how far we got in the anniversary path. I'm not sure which path is going to be the best path to take. I'm assuming the right side. Get this key. Is that how this works? And then we got to go around again to enter here. I do want that void shard. We'll see. Let's go. Let's go this way first. We'll go down this path here. See where it takes us. Okay, we got the key. We can go all the way around and probably grab this, or we can go straight through here. That's what we're gonna do here. Take that. And we are so short of 25K. Where are we going to? It says upgrade champions. So let's upgrade something. Let's see, can we, let's bang this out real quick. I think that got our 1,000. Yeah, there we go. And we got the Arbiter skin, perfect. We got the Jade skin for Arbiter. Where's RB at? Here we go, look at that. No longer is she gonna, is she gonna be all um, whited out. She's now going to be jaded out. I like that. Look at her looking. She's jaded. Let's go ahead and keep going. All right, let's see anything. There's our mythical for Calamitous. HWZ did a video on him doing a lot of damage. Aphidius. Apparently his first form is really good, but his second form is lackluster. I wouldn't know. I don't have a mythical. Boom. Nope, nothing good. And Trollney and Archbishop. But nothing good. Okay, here we go. Got Arbiter. I mean, not Arbiter. Uh, Godseeker. But nothing good. Nope. If I had to pay for this. I would be so, or like, not had to, but like, if I had paid for these stones, I'd be really mad. Those are terrible pulls. Am I out of space already? I'm out of space. That's terrible. Just imagine paying for stones and you get nothing. But I guess if you're going to pay for stones, you wouldn't buy the smaller ones, right? You'd probably go out of your way to pay for the bigger ones just because the rates are better. Of course, those are more expensive. But then some of you guys out there just make a lot of money. So this one. Let's go ahead and grab a few more of these babies. Let's get back to it. And Jetney, we 
don't need you. Vassal. Anybody use Vassal? I don't know if he's a good, good choice. I mean, like, not good choice, but, like, is he a good champion? Because he's, like, way late in the Doom Tower that you get him. And I've pulled him already, but I don't, I don't know where I would use him. So it's kind of like, uh, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense for him to be so late in Doom Tower, which is already an endgame-ish dungeon or area of the game. And for him to not provide much. But I did hear somebody say that he was good in Centranos. That's like one thing. Of course. I'm not convinced that these mortal soul stones are worth much of anything. That's crazy. All right, let's see. Let's pull our last eight here. Nope, Grandmaster. And here's or Calamitous. I'd be happy to get Calamitous. But. And of course, Gizmac. He looks like something out of God of War in a second form. The pause. That's six star. Alaz the sun Sunbearer, bro. If I could get Alaz, I would I would I would definitely be happy. Come on, man. Give me something better. Tashada. Come on. Rector, nobody wants you anymore. And Jizzo. One more. 